Welcome to Weaver Repair Stuff. Um, recently I've been getting a lot of questions surrounding um, creation of Windows 10 Media. Um, I find that when you're running the creation tool, the USB option doesn't seem to work. It just crashes or fails on every occasion. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to create a bootable USB. Um, so what you need to do is have to head over to Google. Um, from there, search um, Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Click the very first link, um, which will take you to Microsoft's website. And um, once you're there, if you click on download tool now um, towards the middle of the page, um, that will then download a media creation tool, which you just need to open up. Once you've opened the tool, um, you'll need to just agree to the terms. Um, it will then run through and prepare to download the files required. Um, on the first screen, you need to select um, the option to create media or create a USB. So there, create installation media. And then um, you can change your language. Um, you can also um, select the architecture if it's 32 or 64 bit build. Um, generally, most people go with 64 bit now because it gives you obviously the ability to go beyond the, the four gig RAM cap. So uh, from there, select the ISO file. Um, don't select USB flash drive because that will crash. Um, which, as I say, has been experiencing quite a lot. Um, and then click on Next. Uh, then set a location to save the file. In this case, I'm popping on the desktop. Um, it will then go through and download all of the required files, um, which will take, my, on my 40 meg connection, uh, about 10, 15 minutes. Um, once that process completes, um, it will then save it to, a, to where you've chosen. Um, you will then need a, another tool called Rufus um, in order to create your bootable USB. Um, so again, go back to Google and search for Rufus, R-U-F-U-S, select the first link, and then scroll down to the middle of the page until you find the download section and download Rufus 2.18. Um, it's quite a small file, it'll only take a few seconds and then run it. From there, um, set your USB device, select it to GPT partition for UFI. Um, leave the other settings alone and then you can you can rename the volume should you wish. The only other thing you need to do is tick the box that says uh, create a bootable disk um, and then you need to browse to your ISO. Once you've done that hit start and then just wait for the process to complete. Um, it will say to you are you sure you want to destroy all the data on your USB just click OK. Um, this process will take probably 10 minutes to copy all the files over um, even on USB 3. So I'll say wait for it all to complete. Um, once it's done, you'll have a bootable USB. Um, and then all you need to do is plug it into your computer and um, select it to boot from. Um, we are continuing to rebuild uh, a PC on one of our other videos. Um, so I will demo this shortly. Um, it will be linked above. Thank you very much.